We've all been on a flight with somebody that's just disgusting. But now, with the power of social media, passengers can finally get their sweet revenge. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more stories about people who get freaky in the sky. Stinky feet, disgusting eating habits, and people that are just downright dirty. Before social media, all you could do is really suck it up and bear it. But now, there's a viral trend that's allowing you to get rid of all of your angst and anger. It's literally called passenger shaming, and it's taken the internet by storm. The trend was birthed years ago, but it's recently taken Instagram by storm with the hashtag passenger shaming. And at passenger shaming, an account that was dubbed one of Rolling Stone's 100 best Instagram accounts. It works like this. You're on a flight, somebody does something disgusting, which pretty much happens on every single flight. Then you take a picture of that, post it, Tag passenger shaming and boom, there it is. Passenger shamed. Okay, I have mixed feelings about this because I'm not all about that shaming life. However, as we get through this, you will see that there's sometimes good reason for it. Like this post. Leaving a diaper in a drinking glass is probably something this passenger wouldn't do at home. Hello, it's three steps to the bathroom. Also, did you change your baby like in front of other pa Although, I will say, do airlines have really great spaces for parents to go and change diapers? If they don't, then, you know, I mean, you're really sticking it to the airline at that point, which unfortunately then rolls over to the passengers. But I feel for parents if that is the case. Unshamed. Unshamed. And this one. Anyone missing any false teeth? That has to be a mighty confusing one to walk away from a situation and be like, where did I, where did I leave my teeth? I don't know, that has to be hard. Like at some point, I don't know, next meal maybe you realize? You just not a smiler? I don't know. And how about this one? Former flight attendant Sean Kathleen says passengers often leave chewed gum in inappropriate places. Like the armrest, seriously? As if it isn't like bad enough that you get onto a flight and somebody else has just been sitting there so the seat is warm and then you have the like back area over here that's really gross because you know somebody else had their face up against it. Now we have to deal with potentially gum situations everywhere. Ugh. It's like really gross. Oh. oh. And take a look at this pigsty left by God knows who. Ugh, some people are literally trash. If you wouldn't do it in your own home, don't do it somewhere else. And how about this guy, just letting it all hang out? So have airlines always been this horrible? Apparently not. And some are saying it's because airline travel's not really a luxury anymore, so people are not really treating it with respect. And seriously, who can blame them? Literally everything today is an add-on. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be paying for toilet paper squares really soon. Today, you have to pay if you want to eat on a flight. So you end up with a lot of irate and potentially grumpy people. You want clean aircrafts when you get off? Just feed people. But is this an excuse to behave badly? Airlines do not think so, and they're biting back. In 2017, Hawaiian Airlines fined a particularly bad passenger $100,000 for disrupting a flight from Hawaii to New York City. But passenger shaming isn't all bad, like this post featuring four flight attendants who delivered a baby mid-flight. Hashtag not shaming. And this little guy who got stuck between the seats mid-nap. Hashtag not shaming. Hashtag so freaking cute. Okay, again, not into any type of shaming in general. Um, I can go for the pictures that maybe don't have a person's face on them. And this account is really just providing other passengers an opportunity to vent about their experiences. And that I can get behind. Personally, I've had my fair share of in-flight horrors. There was the time that this one passenger thought in a flight was a great time for her to start painting her nails. Or there was the time that a flight attendant spilled a whole soda in my lap and I did not have a change of clothing and it was a long flight. But this stuff's actually pretty tame. I would take all of this stuff a hundred times over versus sitting next to that man who was wearing no clothing. All right, I challenge you, throw it in the comments. What is your craziest airline story? And for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.